Hi and welcome back to LinuxStudyGuide.com videos. Today I just want to go over VI. Um, VI is a text editor that's pretty prominent in the Linux operating system. It's all through the terminal. Um, it's a very small program, therefore it's used a lot when it comes to like trying to fix an operating system that crashed or a server or even a very small program that might be on a little piece of flash that has VI with it just because sometimes you might need to edit that. Um, it's still used a lot today even though there's more uh, advanced tech editors like OpenOffice or um, Gedit and stuff like that simply because people are still familiar with it and still like it and because it is so small. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into VI. To get to VI, you just type VI. Oh, I have to actually click in the virtual machine. Type VI and you can type the file name. If there is a file already created that, it will try to open it. Um, if there is no file created, it will actually create the new one with the name you specified. So for me, I already created one called test file one. Boom, let's open that. Boom. And here it is. Here's the text file I created to make this happen. Um, first off, in the basis of VI, there's two different modes. There's command mode, which you automatically start in, which allows you to move around and edit things and um, kind of just get familiar with VI. Um, and make changes, do searches. Um, it's really prominent with the programs. Say you need to search for function 778, you can just type slash search and it'll actually search and find the, the document. You can navigate that way. So the command mode is super important and it also has tons of commands that take a while to learn. All, you can always come to the website. I'll list all these commands all with the video um, just to make it easier for you guys. Now um, there's also the other mode is insert mode. To get to that, you just type I. So little bitty I, and you're in insert mode. You can add lines, add text. You can go to um, tab if you want. But in order to get out of insert mode, to get back to command mode, which is the main mode after you're done typing what you need to, just hit escape. Oh, might help if I type right. Cool. There it goes. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't do that. I'm back in insert mode. Undo. Going crazy up in here. Come on, go back. So you can see how much of a pain this can be if you don't know how to navigate VI. I always get confused. Alright, let me go to insert mode real quick and then let me hit there and go and escape. Boom. Alright, cool. Back to normal. <laughs> I can also just hit undo, undo, but it's alright. Um, so, Let's go ahead and with that get started. With, um, H is left one space. Hold on, let me go right one space first. Up and then right. So L is right one space. H is um, the other way. J is down. K is up. You can also use the arrow keys, which is a kind of a new deal with the new versions of VI. And that works as well. But traditionally, it's HJKL is how they navigate that. And it, it's, it seems weird at first, but it actually makes sense once you try it out. To delete a character, it's simply just a little X. And if you want to undo that, you just hit U. So delete X, undo U. All right, let's go down some more. And then if you look, here's DW, which is delete the whole word. Just type DW while you're in command mode. Boom. That space is gone because that was a word. Let's do the, that. And then, cool. And then shift U will re redo everything you do. So delete the whole word. Oh, I just. So delete the whole word is DW. DX, um, so if you want to delete multiple words, you can type a number and then DW. So that's two words for two DW. Delete the whole line is DD. It's a pretty powerful command, so be careful when you use that. But you can always undo it with the U, of course. But All right, delete from the cursor. This is kind of cool, um, especially if there's like half the line you're like ah now I don't need so shift D boom it's gone and it deletes from wherever the cursor is highlighted at not the front of the cursor but the, actually where the cursor highlights alright and then undo is U as we've been using like crazy shift U undoes the, all edits to a line 
and here's that search function so when you're in command mode you just hit the forward slash and then type what you're searching for let's just type search for fun so it says oh, okay there's one but now we need to go forward so you just type n if you want to go backwards you hit shift n and that's how you navigate with the search and then you hit the bottom and that was that <laughs> all right so let's continue down see what other commands i need to teach you about uh, of course saving and um, leaving VI. It's kind of, I've actually, when I first first working with VI for the first time, no one ever told me how to save or get out of it. So I was kind of like, how do I do this? And this is before all of my wonderful Googles that ever had powers. But so the only way I could figure out how to get out of VI was actually shutting down the machine. But it's actually super simple to do. So to save and quit, you just type ZZ in caps, of course. Um, to just save the file and keep working, you hit colon W. And boom, it says, hey, it's been written. There you go, test file one. To quit without saving, it's colon Q exclamation point. I'm gonna go in and save this file. And I actually just did. But I can go ahead and boom, there we go. And let's go ahead and quit out. Save, oh, how's it click in? Boom, and then that was a ZZ. It did actually show the command, sorry. But it actually gets you out and saves your file. So if you do an LS, boom, there's that test file one I created. So there you go. Simple, easy, it's not too bad. I'll go ahead and list all the commands on our website so it's easier for you to go and play with. Make sure you spend about, I would say, at least 30 to 45 minutes navigating through VI because it is on the test and there are questions on the test related to this. All right, hope this is informative and I hope you um, learned VI successfully. Have a great day.